We've talked about several ways of controlling our devices with MIDI. We can do it virtually from a sequencer using our advanced MIDI tab, and that works for hardware devices as well. We also learned in an earlier video how we can lock a hardware device to a Reason device using this lock option. So I can lock my NanoPad to a Kong, for example. And we know that we can select a track in the sequencer, and as long as that record light is lit, we can control it with our master keyboard controller. But we can actually control any knob from any controller at any time. And we can do that by assigning a MIDI controller to a control. Let's take this filter here from our subtractor. I'll get rid of the delay. So here's the filter. And I want to control it with one of the knobs on my keyboard. So I'll right click and choose Edit Remote Override Mapping. The first thing I need to do is tell it what control surface I'm using. I have three hooked up to my computer and I'm going to choose the first one, which is my Korg Triton Master Keyboard. And then since I have Learn from Control Surface Input checked, I just need to move a knob. And when I move the knob, I see the activity light and I see the control is set to CC74. Now I don't need to worry about CC74. All I need to know is that it's found a controller. I get a warning message here saying CC74 is assigned to something else, do I care? And I'm going to move it to this filter control. So I'll choose replace. And now you can see I'm moving the filter with my knob. Let's do it for the resonance. Same thing, move a different knob. This happens to be CC19. And now I can move my knobs and control the filter. Now I can do the same thing with my keyboard. I can simply right click a control and assign a letter or number to that control. So let's do that here. Choose Edit Keyboard Control Mapping. And I will assign this to the letter Z. I can make it Shift Z if I want by checking the Shift button. I'll just press the Z. And before I can use my keyboard controls, I have to go up to my Options menu and choose Enable Keyboard Control. And now when I press the letter Z, you can see my waveform is changing. I can easily see all the keyboard controls I've mapped by choosing Keyboard Control Edit Mode. And when I choose that, you'll see I have a couple letters there, Z, D, and X, controlling different things. And everything with a yellow arrow is something that I could control with my keyboard, but it's not being controlled yet. Same thing happens with the MIDI controls. I can choose Remote Override Edit Mode. The things with the lightning bolts are controls that I have specifically mapped. And you can see what they've been mapped to with the tooltip. Everything else has a mapping that Reason has assigned. So when I assigned my controllers to the filter frequency and resonance, I was overriding the Reason controls. What's nice about those MIDI controls is that even when a different device is selected, like my Thor, you can still see the filter of the subtractor is moving. So my MIDI remote control can control a different device from the one that my keyboard controller 